Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today I've got something truly exciting to share with you. Have you ever wanted to effortlessly craft a bunch of quizzes for your next big project? Well, you're in luck because in this video, we're diving into the magic of Canva's Bulk Create tool, your ultimate solution for streamlining the quiz making process. Whether you're an educator, content creator, or just someone who loves engaging quizzes, the Bulk Create tool in Canva is about to become your new best friend. With this powerful feature, you can save time, maintain consistency, and keep your creative juices flowing by generating multiple quizzes in just a few clicks. And people really like such short quizzes and these are really popular on social media. As you can see that there are multiple channels available on YouTube which are earning a lot by just posting these quizzes. In today's tutorial, we'll walk you through the easy steps to harness the full potential of Bulk Create 2. From selecting templates that match your theme to customizing questions and answers, you'll be amazed at how effortlessly you can create quizzes that stand out. So if you're ready to take your quiz game to the next level and have a blast doing it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss a single tip. Let's dive right in and unlock the world of multiple quizzes with Canva's Bulk Create tool. Alright, let's get started. So in order to create the questions for our quizzes, we would need to go to chatgpt.com. You can create an account on ChatGPT through your email account. So here in ChatGPT, we would write a prompt in the message box to create 50 quizzes on Guess the Drink by Emoji. Make the quiz in a table where first column should consist of emojis and the second column should consist of drink name. We would send this message to ChatGPT and in response to our prompt, in the first step, ChatGPT has created 10 sample quizzes for us and we would write another message to ChatGPT to create 40 more. And this way, ChatGPT has created the remaining 40 quizzes as well. Now what we need to do is that we would copy this table and we would go to Google Sheets and paste this table here. Now we need to go back to ChatGPT again and copy the remaining 40 quizzes. Come back to Google Sheets once again and paste the remaining questions here. So now the questions for our quiz are ready. Now in order to design the quiz, we would go to canva.com. Here we would select the video template. First of all, we need to design the template of our quiz. For that, we'll go to elements. We would search for a background. If we want an animated background, we would need to go to this filter button. And here by scrolling down, we would come to this option and select this box animated filter and this way we'll get only the animated templates we would look for a background in the video section this template looks perfect for the quiz now we need to adjust the timing of our quiz and usually the quiz timings are from 8 seconds to 10 seconds we would drag our template to 10 seconds now we need to add a text box to our quiz for that we would go to the text option and, and click on add a heading button we will drag this text box and bring it here now we need to go back to google sheets and we would copy the first box under emojis column come back to canva again and paste these emojis in the first text box you can also adjust the size of our emojis box that looks perfect now we need to add another text box for the answer of our question we'll go back to google sheets once again and copy the answer of the first question We'll come back to Canva again and paste the answer in the second box. You can also change the font style and the font size as well. Now we would also want to animate our elements of the quiz. First of all, we would select the first box of our question, which is the emojis. And we'll go to this animate button and we'll set an animation for our emojis. Let's say we give this style of animation. Now we'll go to the second box, which is the answer box and we'll also assign an animation to this this stop animation looks perfect for our quiz now of course we would also want to display a countdown timer in our quiz for that we'll go to elements 
and we will search for countdown in the search box. Here we can choose an appropriate style of the countdown timer according to our quiz. Let's say we choose this style. We can adjust the size of our countdown timer and we can also remove the background by going to the edit video button and clicking the background remover option. So this way the background of our countdown timer is removed. This background remover tool is available in Canva Pro version only. And how to get the Canva Pro version for free, there's a complete video tutorial available in my channel. And I have pasted the link of that video in the description box. So you can go and check that video as well. Uh, we'll adjust the placement of our countdown timer. The next step we are going to do is a very important step of our process, where we're going to adjust the timings of the elements of our quiz.
for watching. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.